Hello, my name's Carly. I paint mache de balloon and stuck on cardboard eyes and a beak. Then I painted it to make my owl. Hello, I'm Lucy. I made a pig out of paper mache. I made the nose out of a yogurt pot and I made the legs out of egg boxes. My name's Hayley Mason. I made a crab by paper mache and a balloon, wire for the legs and I painted it. Ah, what a good art attack, covering a balloon in papier-mâché, sticking on cardboard shapes or objects, and making some funny animals. Well, you can use this technique to make lots of things. All you need to do is blow up a balloon, roughly the same size as your head, and then place it in a plant pot or a jug or something to hold it with the tied end down. And then mix some PVA glue and water in equal parts, and just tear some strips of newspaper, dab them into your glue, and then just literally slot them onto the top of the balloon like that and you can just dab them down with a brush and the idea is to cover the top two-thirds of your balloon in newspaper now it's always a good idea to cover it in about four layers of newspaper or papier-mâché and I'll give you a tip on that if you do a layer of newspaper and then a layer of magazine you'll know how many layers you've actually done. And when you've covered the top two-thirds of your balloon, I'll just do that to show you, leave it to one side to dry overnight. And when it's dry, it'll look something like that. And then it's just a case. Now, this is the bit I always dread, popping the balloon. Wait for this. One, two, three. Ah, that's better. And just take out the balloon there like that, and you're left with what looks like half a bowl. And you can always just trim off those rough edges there just to neaten it up a little bit and then just put your bowl to one side and take two polystyrene cups and just watch this carefully if you stick your thumb into the side at the bottom of one of the cups and then rip the bottom off like that I'll just do that again to show you there's the cup thumb into the side and tear the bottom off like that and then if you place the two cups together then your bowl should hopefully sit neatly between the two cups. You can do it a bit neater than I've done now, just doing it quickly to show you. And then tape your bowl onto your cups. Again, I'm just doing it very quickly. And then just put some papier-mâché all over your cups. Again, four layers. And you can see it can be a bit of a struggle and a fight, but we get there in the end. Cover it in four layers of papier-mâché and then leave that to dry overnight. And when that's dry, you can have something that looks like that. And you notice it's gone hard and stiff here. That's very good. And it looks a bit like a pair of trousers, doesn't it? Well, that's exactly what it is. And you notice here, what I've done is I've built up about two centimetres around the top, made it nice and thick, and around about two centimetres at each of the legs down at the bottom for turn-ups. And then if you paint on your detail of your trousers using acrylic paint or poster paint or powder paint, you can design your trousers however you like. Now I'm going to just do blue paint, just slop it on here and turn my trousers into a pair of blue jeans. And yeah, I'm just slopping it on to show you. And it's a good idea when you've actually put on your base colour that if you leave that to dry overnight and then next day you can add on bags more detail. You see what I've done here? I've painted on a brown belt and I've even done a sort of gold buckle on the belt with one of those gold pens. And if you see here, I put in lots of little detail with a very fine black felt tip pen. Just put the stitching on there. And the more detail you put on, the better it looks. And what do you use them for? Well, they make great bowls. And you can stick just about anything inside them. You might like to stick in some flowers, like that, make a good present. Or you could stick in crisps and use them for party bowls. What about keeping all your art materials in there? And this is my favourite. Sweets. Try it yourself. Papier-mâché balloon trousers. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!